Hello there folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. What I'm going to show you guys today is how we take care of little bitty things. This is just styrofoam mold. You can tap it and it's styrofoam mold. You've got to take the small stuff with the big stuff. We do a lot of big stuff. However, I also do a lot of little stuff. These folks emailed me this and I was able to see it and I thought, wow, that's, that's pretty petty. The car just nipped it a little bit. Now here's what I was able to see online with the um, email that they sent me with a picture. I see the finish. This is a heavy finish. It's called, right here, it's La Habra and on top of the bags are the grit. The 1620 up here, I love you, backwards. A 1620 means a heavy finish. That's the heaviest. There's three. There's fine, Santa Barbara smooth. Then there's medium, which is 2030, and finally 1620. Okay. I've mixed up some 1620 right here. I uh, didn't want to bore you guys and show you how we just add water to the powder. But if I just go ahead and and patch this up, like sheetrock, when it dries, it will crack like an egg. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of luminite in here. Now the luminite just makes it hard and quick. It changes the color, but they got to paint this anyhow. So I'm mixing this up, mixing it up. This way, when I apply it, it's not going to match color wise, but what it will do is it won't crack when it dries because this is going to set within five minutes. So, okay, I'm mixing this up. It's, it'll set fast enough so that it won't crack and I'll still be able to do my texture in it. Here we go. All right. Now that that's mixed up well enough, I'm going to just go ahead and finish it up. go. Put a little bit on this side. Because it's a quarter inch to a half inch thick, if I didn't put the luminite, which luminite, we just put it in this bucket right here. If I didn't put the luminite in it, again, it would shrivel up tomorrow when it dries and it would I'd be right back here. So anyway, now what I'm doing is water. There's water in this bucket. So what I'm going to do is just match the finish here. This is pretty simple for a skilled fella. You just pull it like that. Bring the aggregate out. Aggregate's just a fancy word for sand. In concrete, it's a fancy word for the rocks, the aggregate. And I float this. I'm floating it up. I'm floating it down. And we're just bringing the aggregate out. And it will adhere to here because I used weldcrete. I put the weldcrete on this, which if I didn't put the weldcrete on here, any excess would come off. So there you have it. That's, you don't get any simpler than that. We're doing quite a few of these. And I do quite a few of these. And folks always say, well, gee, can you match the texture? This again is a 1620. It's uh, simple after you spend a few years in the business learning all these things. Anyhow, that's the way you patch up a little fender bender on the styrofoam. My name's Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Jason and I will see you guys as usual on the next one.